Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about Arnold Allen versus Giga Chikadze. Arnold Allen 19-3, and 3-2 and in his last five fights. On a two-fight losing streak against Max Holloway. He impressed me a lot in that fight. And got absolutely molly whopped against Mobzar Ivalov. Minus 260, three, 30 years old, 5'8", with a 70-inch reach. Fight uh, trains at TriStar. Um, yeah. And Giga Chikadze, 15-3, and 4-1 and one in his last five fights. The one loss is against Calvin Cater. Absolute beatdown. Came back and fought Alex Caceres, and I thought Alex Caceres actually won that fight. Plus 210 underdog, I don't understand. 35 years old, 6 foot tall with a 74-inch reach. Way taller than Arnold Allen, but that's 3, 4, yeah, 4 inches taller and a 4-inch reach advantage for uh, Chikadze. The problem with me in this fight is Chikadze at 35 years old. You've seen it in the Alex Caceres fight. Doesn't have that same pep to his step. Doesn't have the same confidence he had early in his career with his striking and even though I, I thought Jamal Emmers beat him when they fought years ago um, but yeah Arnold Allen is just one of those guys that's really really technical his chin worries me a lot because I don't think a lot of people talk about how weird his chin is let's go back over here real quick Edwards let's do right here so Strikes landing per minute is 3.39 to 4.08 for Giga. Striking accuracy is 40 to 43 for Giga. Absorbed 2.91 to 3.44 for Giga. Defense is 61 to 62 also for Giga. Here's where it can be fun though. Average takedowns 1 to 0.23 for Allen. Accuracy is 50 to 33. Defense is 72 to 69. Now again, Allen has to close the distance. Again, the thing about this is Giga at 35 years old, he didn't look great in the uh, uh, Caceres fight. Now, again, I think Caceres is, again, underrated. I don't think he gets enough prop for how durable and how long he's been doing it with the style that he has. He goes to war in damn near every fight he has. So, um, I, I don't know how Giga withstands Allen if Allen can... Uh, um, doesn't wilter away, which we haven't seen it. Now, he's been dropped. I don't really care for his chin very much. I don't know what it is about it, but he has 11 finishes out of his 19 wins, 10-2 uh, and two in the UFC. He fought the better competition. I just like Arnold Island, but, it, like, you know, the Calvin Cater win, an, an injury like that, unless you're the one who checked it, shouldn't ever be a win, and he didn't check it. Calvin just had a, a bad knee injury. Um, but even like Dan Hooker hurt him. Sadiq, he did well against Sadiq. But just sometimes when you when when you're watching these guys fight, Allen's chin is you know Max Holloway dropped him at the end of their fight. Calvin Cater dropped him. I mean not dropped. Uh, Dan Hooker dropped him. There's these these times where Allen puts himself in these bad positions. And he has to close the distance with Giga. He can't stay on the kicking range. And I think Allen can actually get a finish against Giga if he can close that distance. I like Arnold Allen, fought better competition. Just and he's younger. Hasn't been through the all the wars that Giga has, like the Calvin Cater beat down. But yeah, I like Calvin Cater. Oh, no, I, I like Arnold Allen. And as always, subscribe, like, comment. Let me know you're picking. Peace.